Next segment of learning at home to cash flow. Basically, what we're going to do today is talk about AJ, aerodynamic jump. So, a lot of problems that I see guys on the range, since we have a lot of 360 degree direction of fire ranges, they'll start shooting around, they'll input all their wind direction, they'll say, hey, the wind's blowing from 9 o'clock at 24 miles an hour, and the Kestrel will completely take care of your elevation hold and give you the correct hold even with AJ inputted in. So, if it's blowing 24 miles an hour from the left right now, left, the bullet's going to hit load. So instead of 8 mils, it's going to give you 8.3. Right? So it's adjusting for it and accounting for it. Well, as you shoot across, now you've left that 24 mile an hour wind with 9 o'clock. As we come around and out, it becomes a 3 o'clock wind. Now AJ goes in the other direction. So a right hand wind will rise the bullet and will make your bullet impact high. So now, instead of being just 0.3 off, you now are 0.6 off. It's going to compound and double the amount of AJ component. So you need to manage, if you're the guy that's taking care of plugging in direction of fire and plugging in uh, your wind direction and your actual wind velocity for AJ, you need to manage it for each shot and make sure that you're plugging in the right direction at all times and the correct velocity at your muzzles so you can actually see what the AJ component is. All right, so if you're someone like me, I'm going to plug in 3 o'clock, 4 miles an hour because it's only 0 0.05 for AJ. I don't have to worry about it after that, whether I shoot a left-hand wind or a right-hand wind. My Kestrel's never giving me bad information. Every 8 miles an hour, I'm going to input or I'm going to add or subtract the 0.1 for AJ, but I'm doing it myself just like a wind call. I'll make that slight elevation component change based off the wind at the shot and I'm not plugging it into the Kestrel. So if you are plugging in wind in your Kestrel, be sure that you're keeping up on it and maintaining it so it can continue to give you correct holds.